forums on red light cameras in Albany. Those cameras, of course, are coming to the capital city. The Common Council approving them as part of the budget $176 million spending plan last night. Yeah, now there's been a lot of back and forth about them in City Hall, and today the police want to hear from you about what you think. Jennifer Mullen joining us live outside the Albany High School, where one of two public forums will be held later on today. Jen? That's right, Julie. This is where one of the forums is going to be later on tonight, and the police want to hear from you, the drivers. Mayor Kathy Sheehan, she tasked the police officers with picking 20 of the best locations in Albany for these red light cameras. So maybe this isn't exactly an example of an intersection uh, where the red light camera is going to go, um, but there are... 20 locations that are going to get these red light cameras and Albany's police deputy chief he is going to be going through this forum today he's going to be discussing how these cameras work he's going to be talking about crash data in the city and he's going to be talking about possible locations and then opening up the floor for some questions and feedback mayor she and she hopes the red light cameras will generate money and cut down on intersection crashes the city budgeted two million dollars for the red light cameras they're following in the footsteps of other cities like Rochester. Rochester is taking advantage of the same program and police there say that their 48 cameras have given out about 90,000 tickets each year. Nationwide traffic studies show that mixed results. Some show a drop in the collisions. Others show an uptick in rear end crashes. This forum, again, it's open to the public. There's going to be an opportunity for feedback, for questions. There's one this afternoon. It's from 1 to 3 p.m. and that's at 200 Henry Johnson Boulevard. The second is later on tonight, 7 to 9, right here at the Albany High School inside their auditorium. Live in Albany, Jennifer Mullen, CBS 6 News.